Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So excited to be back from the dead. Um, <laughs> last time, I uh, I had apparently uh, pneumonia, which sucks, believe it or not. <laughs> it's the worst. We're in 2019. I had real live pneumonia and my uh, bride was ki- kind enough to come on with Crystal Denim and uh, do our thing and make everything uh, work. But I'm back. I'm feeling much, much better back from the dead and so excited to hang out with you today. If you are here today because you want to know why most marketing for your cleaning company hasn't worked and doesn't work and what to do about it, you are in the right place. The reality is you can't afford to waste money on is a small business, which I've been for the last 20 years. You're walking that tightrope, man, because you can't afford to waste money on marketing that doesn't work, but you really, really can't afford not to be able to get new customers, right? <laughs> that is just the worst place. Hey, Ricardo, good to have you, man. Uh, oh, reading the book. Beautiful. Um, you know, I'll give myself a quick plug. Why not? If you want a uh, <laughs> downright fun to read book that actually is kick butt on marketing and uh, how to do everything, go to Grow My Cleaning. Well, I don't think you can get it at GrowMyCleanCompany.com. Uh, go to Amazon and look up, uh, I'm a freaking genius. Why is this business so hard? Um, it's on Amazon. I don't think it's, we should have it at the website, but we don't. Sorry. Uh, why I, I'm a freaking genius. Why is this business ours? The name of that Jason Johnson in the house. Good to see my friend Marvin coming in from, uh, Minnesota. So again, if you are looking for why marketing typically doesn't work, especially in the cleaning universe, and you've kind of come to grips with just, there's, there's two, Oh, <laughs> Ricardo's like got it on Amazon. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. You would share the link Ricardo. You'd be my favorite. That way I don't have to keep answering questions in the chat. Um, and let, yeah, let me know how you like it, dude. All right. So again, the big issue that we're <laughs> still getting over, uh, the aforementioned, uh, what's it called? Pneumonia. So sorry if I cough in your face, guys, um, gals, we can't afford to waste marketing on uh, money on marketing. It doesn't work, especially when we're new, right? Um, every resource when we're first starting our company is so valuable time and money. We can't waste a second. We can't waste a buck. So we get really into that mode of, we got to make every dollar count, which is great for a small business. That's so important. But then sometimes we go, so then we, we go way too far. Like, so I'm just not gonna spend any money on marketing. Right. And the problem with that is the only thing that's going to make you go broke faster than wasting a bunch of marketing uh, money on money on marketing doesn't work is to not put any money into client attraction and just kind of hope for the best. That is just, just the worst. So we're going to talk about exactly how to do that. Uh, because if you can't unlock that new customer vault in your, in your cleaning company, it is on the worst case, you really can't be in this business. Uh, the best case, it is a big uphill climb. Um, we need to be able to do that somewhat scalably, somewhat repeatably, and certainly dependably, uh, just getting customers like I'm word of mouth, uh, is a great way to go out of business or have a very stressful business. Cause it can be great when lots of people are referring you and kicking butt and it can be bad when they're not, or if you decide, Hey, I'd like to grow to a million dollars. I'd like to grow on purpose to this amount. It's really hard to be like, well, I'll just hope that I get enough referrals to get to this random number I picked, right? It just doesn't work that way. So, um, if you can't unlock the new customer vault and really figure that piece out, you can't be in business. The good news is the two big systems that you do need are the client attraction system, the employee attraction system. Certainly we need accounting and some other things, but you can solve 92% of your growth issues in the cleaning business. If you are really good at attracting customers and really good at attracting employees. So we're going to talk about what's not worked with typical marketing in the past and how to make sure that you don't have that problem. And it, and it does work for you in the future. So let's do it. Um, the, the biggest issue that doesn't work is the, uh, I'll just post on Facebook and social media. Like I'll just <coughs> post twice a day or whatever. The reality is that's what all your broke competition is doing. I'm telling you, I talk to them and it's not scalable, right? Because Facebook um, doesn't, oh, Ricardo says, I followed your advice, including a message or an invoice about word of mouth. It really helps. I think that's in the book. Thanks, Ricardo. I'll share that for everybody. Just a little quick bonus. Um, when we just say when you're on your invoice, feel free to, and it's not really just on the invoice. So that's a great place. When you are serving your customers at a high level and you want to um, grow, 
take every opportunity, every creative opportunity you can to say, hey, if you would like, if you're getting value, if we're making your life better, and my goodness, if you are not making your customers' lives better, you shouldn't be in business. Uh, we'd love to help. We want to take care of you know our favorite customers usually uh, know our next favorite customers and the people that really love us, their friends and family tend to really love us as well. So if you want to spread some joy in the world, hook us up with a referral and let us roll out the red carpet for your, uh, for, for, for your friends and family. I'll do that right now. Cleaning nation for everyone listening. If there are people that, you know, are like, Holy crap, this guy or gal is working so hard. He's, he's can't get out of cleaning or he can't get out of clean, but he's just working 80 hours a week and not making any money and their cash flow sucks. And he's putting up with customers. Please refer them to our community. Grow my cleaning company.com. This podcast, this, uh, Facebook, live uh apparently the book that we put in the thank you for ricardo and, and natalie for putting in the chat uh if you're getting value out of this community absolutely let your friends and family know if uh weird our, our elite members have been freaking amazing uh, our graduates on referring new graduates for us so um that's how that would look right hopefully none of you guys felt like i was begging or asking you to do something weird just like hey if you're getting joy and value out of this community share that right okay so um where we were was I'll just post on Facebook and social media. Again, that's what your broke competition is doing. I know because I talked to them and it's not scalable, right? And it's not, you're st we're still depending on Facebook and social media to post your stuff. And that's what everybody's doing. And it's not really a strategy. It's just a thing that you do that may or may not give you business, but we are looking for scalable, repeatable, dependable, um, or the, the flip side of that. So we could kind of go two ways, right? I don't want to spend any money or take any risk or learn anything about marketing or my customer or their needs. I'll just put on Facebook, like five tips to clean this thing or whatever weird thing that we've got, or just post, you know, feeling of the day or whatever, all these, you know, social media people are doing. Um, a, that's what everybody's doing. And I promise you, I'll get rich that way. And B, um, we're not really bringing value and C it's not scalable. We kind of depend on, on those things. So we want to, that's one side of, we're just going to kind of, I don't want to say half asset, but sorry, they didn't mean to curse out there. Facebook universe. Um, we, just, we don't want to just halfway to the opposite, which is I'll just pay a fancy marketing company. They'll make me rich. I'll just give them a thousand bucks a month and they'll bury me in leads. I'm making up these numbers. Uh, I don't, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter what you pay. The reality is a, they don't know who your customers are. B, they certainly don't know what their pain is or what they're looking for, how to communicate with them specifically and see if they were really good at getting the right customers. That's where you can get stuck is, you know, a lot of them like we guarantee, yeah, they'll get you customers, but you know, some guy in India that, you know, is a clicks on your website is not a customer, right? Or even a prospect. Oh, Michelle's like, I just uh, purchased the audio book. You guys are the best. Let me know how you like it, Michelle. Um, I actually did the, that freaking audio book. Um, the book is so ridiculous and so in my voice and we have so much fun. I didn't want to hire some like, hello, if you'd like to grow your clean, you know, so I'm like, screw it. I'm reading it myself. So if you like my voice, you'll like the audio book. If uh, you, you get enough of me on the lives, you, you might not like the audio book. It's just more me. All right. So the reality is if they really could get good leads and again, yes, we can get warm bodies to click a button or raise their hand or, you know, one lead that they sell to, um, 47 different people, not mentioning any names out there, but you know who you are. Um, either one, they're in the lead business, in which case they turn and turn and turn. They don't care about the quality. If they do have good leads, they'll typically sell them to four or five different people. Cause those leads were expensive. Um, or they're not really that good at getting leads, right? You know, like, oh, I couldn't get, and if, so the ones that are really good at getting leads are either gonna sell them and resell them and resell them to the point where they're not a lot of value, unless you've got a really good marketing funnel to make sure that you kick, kick the crap out of all the other people that are giving leads to. In that case, if you know how to make a good marketing funnel, you don't, you, you'll be able to get the leads, right? Um, but the reality is if they're really that good at it, they would be in the cleaning business, right? So they're like, we don't know how to get specific leads. We only know how to get general leads. Um, or they'd be in the, the business of selling leads, which is a great business, right? You can make money doing that. But typically if they sell the leads, there's not enough meat on the bone for you to get rich. There's just no universe where you can find a company and be like, I will give you X amount of money and you'll just be buried in leads, right? Like that's what we all want. Like, just like this magic fairy that I'll give you money. And then the, the lead fairy will just drop off, you know, people that the right people that have money and want our services. It just never, ever, ever, ever works. I'm telling you that to save you the time and money of going through that. Um, and it's not that they're all bad. It's just, they either in the lead marketing business, which is not what you really want to buy from because they're good at getting leads, but then they're also good at selling leads to other people or they don't know how to get leads in which case they're just selling you a bunch of garbage. 
or they do know how to get leads into your competition, then you're really in trouble if you don't know how to market. Uh, Joanna says, listening from London. Thanks for the great ideas. Love, love, love our overseas folks. TJ says the audiobook is awesome. Thanks, buddy. Uh, TJ is so good. Got to talk to him on the alumni call yesterday. Appreciate him and, and his family. And uh, I think he actually shot me an email. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get back with you today, buddy. All right. The next thing is, oh, I've got a bunch of really good reviews, so I'm good. Um, first of all, good reviews are amazing. Like right here, this is perfect. We've been on for nine minutes. I've had three or four really kind people. Thank you. Go, Mike's the best, you know, the book by the, you know, those are great. I love all that. That's fantastic. But I promise you the people whose lives that we change typically don't come just from that. Or if they do, that's a great thing. So we love, we love reviews and those are positive. We certainly want to leverage them. And thank you all you guys that are so amazing. Um, but that's a piece of a marketing puzzle, right? So a lot of marketing doesn't work because we get confused as to what we have. Like, if I just get enough leads, I'll be rich. You know, then you go buy leads. But the problem is we don't have a, a good, A, we don't have a good qualification to be like, what's a good lead versus just some human being that called. Um, we don't have a marketing funnel to turn the lead into a customer. Um, and we don't have all the other assets that we need. So a lot of the things that we're talking about are pieces of the puzzle and they're all fine. So posting on Facebook and social media, that's fine. That's a good way to create buzz, but it's not going to make you rich. Um, by the way, my, my wife is moderating for those of you who see the thing. And so when you see the grow my cleaning company, that'd be my bride, Natalie. And she said, you're okay, I guess. So that's, uh, that's her referral for me. If you'd like to be my wife, uh, I get a strong, you're okay, I guess referral. So I may, maybe stick with the audio book <laughs> plus that spot steak. And she's amazing. Uh, or I guess she's average. Um, you know, gotta, gotta fight back. So that, I've got to get a, so let's just go through each of those pieces that we've gone over and see how they're a fine piece, but they're really not a marketing system or a client attraction system, which is what we need. Um, so I'll post on Facebook and manage in social media. Great. That's fine. And that can get you some leads, but it's not scalable. And that's not getting you customers and get you leads. I'll hire a fair, a fancy marketing company to bury me in leads. Well, that's probably going to get you the wrong. Uh, leads. They're certainly not scalable. And if they are scalable, they're super, they're typically super expensive and they resell, uh, they resell their stuff. <laughs> Ricardo says, happy wife, happy life. There's the best coaching I give you all day. We're just talking about this garbage, how to, how to grow a cleaning company. It's fine. Happy wife, happy life. That's the best, that's the best advice I'm going to give you this whole, this whole thing. Um, you know, I'll, I'll hire a fancy marketing company to bury me in leads. Again, are they the right leads? How many are they going to do? What am I going to do if I want to get it? And then you're like, well, maybe I could pay the marketing company to do the whole thing. They'll go from lead to what, it, yeah, they're going to charge so much. They're going to take all the profit out of it. Uh, they have those, right? Those franchises are like, Hey, we'll do everything on the, the client attraction. We'll sign them up. We'll do everything. We just charge it like 26%. Well, the problem is there's 20% profit in most jobs. So they want, uh, they want, uh, they want, they want all the profit and you do all the work. Uh, Salisha says, uh, hey, pop it in between training new employees. That's fantastic. We need new clients. You were in the right spot, Salisha. And good enough, we can get this on the podcast. If if you're here live and you want to hear it again, just check out the podcast, growmyclinkcapa.com forward slash iTunes, I think. <clears throat> okay, so all of these pieces are good. The reviews are good, but they're not a marketing client attraction system, right? So part of the, the, the answer to the question why marketing doesn't work is because we're just doing a piece of it and expecting it to do the whole thing. We're, you know, we're just buying an engine and we're uh, frustrated it doesn't get us down the road. We need the whole car. Um, so the, the, another thing that's going to absolutely kill you is if I just get my name out there, I'll be good, right? I just want to get my name out there. Your name out there doesn't mean a blessed thing. Um, you really have to make sure that the right people know who you are and what you do. And most importantly, how you can make their life better. A lot of you guys know me, which is great. Uh, makes me feel good. I like you. But if I want to make money, uh, I can't do that until you understand how I can help you and make your life better. So we've got getting your name out there to zero, zero good. What we really want, I'd rather have a, instead of having 10,000 people know my name, I'd rather 100 people know exactly how I can make their life better. Uh, or more importantly, instead of having 10,000 random strangers know my name, I'd rather know 10 people that needed my service know not only my name, but how I can make their life better. So you see the difference? It's not just who knows your name, but they, they understand how you can help them, right? That's a huge thing. So just I'll get my name out there is not good. Leave that to your competition. Let them fool themselves trying to chase the, if I just get my name out there, dragon, uh, because that's, that's what that looks like. Um, really, the over writing theme is it doesn't matter what I say, as long as I find not the overriding theme I'm trying to give you but the overriding theme I get is it doesn't matter what I say is if I just find the fancy new, we talked about a marketing company, oh, fine, I won't get a marketing company. I'll just, I'll do Facebook ads. They'll make me rich. Well, again, that's what your Facebook ad salesperson wants you to believe. But the reality is you can't break the rules of marketing, right? That we, 
if it, you know, you hear that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So when the, you know, <laughs> people want to skip the, the reason marketing doesn't work is people don't want to do the work. So the rules are, you've got to have the right people, right? No matter how good my, my ad is, I can put something on a Super Bowl. It would do me no good, right? Does that mean it's valueless? No, people pay millions of dollars of Super Bowl time. It'd be valueless to me because I'd have 12 and a half people. Well, all right, fine. 400 people, um, less, than the, less than the number of the people are going to watch this or hear this broadcast. Uh, that, oh, that, so say I get a couple thousand people on this broadcast. That's fine um, with, the, with, the pod, you know, with the podcast and the, the YouTube video and all that stuff. Um, of those, say a thousand people only, which would be a, a bad video for us, say 800 of them own cleaning companies. I might have a Super Bowl ad. I'll bet you less than 800 people watching that particular 30 second slot that cost me 5 million bucks would own a cleaning company, right? So it's really important that you get the right people. You can't just get a spectacular message of the wrong people. It's not going to help. Um, so we need the right people with the right message. And that message again, talks about how I can make their life better. So even if I did have every single owner of a cleaning company in the universe, I had their attention for 30 seconds and I just put up, Mike Campion's the best, grow my cleaning company, Mike Campion. So what? They don't care. I have to give some sort of message where they go, oh my gosh, this guy can help me and bring value to my life, right? So the marketing that we want to give is the right people, the right message. <laughs> <clears throat> the message I have for today is if you uh, don't like coughing, uh, I would skip the pneumonia when that, opportunity comes around, don't raise your hand like I did. Um, that, that was that was a chump bet. I shouldn't have taken it. So once we've got the right people and the right message, then we've then it's easy to find the right place, right? So um, you've got to get all three of those. And a lot of times we're like, well, we'll just go to Facebook. Well, like, Facebook can absolutely be the right place. There's so many people on it. Your people are probably there. But if you don't have the right message, it's not going to help. And if you don't target right, it's not going to help. So no matter what whiz bang thing that you try, whether it's good reviews or social media, or I'll just get my name out there, you can never violate. I've got to get the right message to the right people and I got to do it in the right place in the right format, the right media, right? If my, uh, if I'm selling to a deaf community, the television or loudspeaker may not be the best thing, right? If I'm selling to uh, people that predominantly don't have computers, well then maybe Facebook is not the, the trick there, right? So we've got to really know who our customer is, get the right message over the right media to the right people. All right, the last one I want to blow up and then we'll move on is the, oh, when I need customers, I'll just turn on my marketing. Right now, marketing brings low price people. Okay. Right now, marketing brings low price people. Um, typically, when they're shopping right now, they're just like, oh, I've got this itch. I need it scratched. I just want whoever's cheap. Good marketing builds over time relationships with people that actually understand the value that you can bring. Uh, I haven't done a survey, but I promise there are. 99% of the folks out there that help grow businesses or say they help grow businesses are cheaper than me. <laughs> um, and you can Google them and they'll probably come up and whatever. Uh, just like they're probably, hopefully if you're doing your job, well, 99, well, not 99, but hopefully well over half your competitors are cheaper than you. And you're okay with that, right? Because what you want to do is build a community of people that understand who you are and what value you can bring to their life. And when they need help with that, when they're really serious about solving that problem, they come to you. So when I'm not serious about solving a problem, I'll go the cheap route, <laughs> right? When it's really, really important, I go the expensive route. Um, like I typically, you know, joke, like if you're going to negotiate with someone, we don't want to negotiate with your lawyers or your doctors, right? If the doctor says it's $412,000 for a brain surgery, well, then that's what I pay if I can access $412,000. Right? I'm not going to negotiate that dude. Uh, whatever his rate is, I don't want him cutting my brain open going, this is the guy that, gosh, me, I could be playing golf and the other guy, blah, blah. I don't want any of that crap. I want the best. So when we do right now marketing, we're typically not looking for people typically who want the best. We're just looking for something I want quick and easy, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can take right now customers, but we want to make sure certainly on the commercial side, uh, on the residential side, you can do okay with right now customers, but you'll crush it. You crush your competition. If you go for the customers over time on the commercial, you really don't want the right now customers because there's so much competition. They're really looking for low price. You want the people that you build a relationship over time. And when they're ready, they come to you and only you, you don't have to do this whole job walk cattle call nonsense. So the reality is um, good marketing solves just about every business problem that you can have because uh, most business problems are related in some way to cash. And if you don't, and the best way to get cash is new customers. And the best way to make sure you've got profitable customers, have enough customers coming in. So bad marketing or lack of ability to attract clients can kill you in so many ways, right? You put up with bad clients or cheap clients because you can't get new ones. 
um, you can't grow, you can't produce results for your people because there's no money to do it. Uh, and the opposite of that's true when you can really um, get an effective client attraction system. So if you would like our help doing that, that's what we do, right? We've got systems and processes to help you guys attract the right clients and attract the right employees and be able to grow the way that you want. Go to growmancleaningcompany.com. Uh, right it, 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 on top of the hundreds of videos and, and, and podcasts and things like this, there are there right at the beginning. There's a absolutely free complimentary uh, on demand masterclass you can get that is freaking awesome. Uh, start there. That is going to give you a great head start on everything, growing your company, really help with the five big shifts that you're going to need to make just to get started. So go to grow my cleaning company.com. Everything we teach there is marketing that does work. Um, and it's again, because it's concepts and processes. So we don't teach like go to Facebook, go to this, go to that. We're not selling any whiz bang like, you know, stuff. We're not a marketing company. We're not, you know, here's the new social media platform. We are, you know, frankly, I've been in business for the last 20 years, bought, built, built and sold several multimillion dollar businesses. And I've <laughs> basically I've invested and <laughs> I'm doing the huge air quotes because I didn't invest. I wasted hundreds of thousands, not millions of dollars. I'm making big, dumb mistakes. A lot of which came around uh, some of the, what we've talked about, all this stuff I'm telling you guys not to do. I wish I could say I read it in a book somewhere, but I just did them um, right. Like, let's just go through them. I'll just post on Facebook and social media. Yeah, I, I did that when got nowhere. Um, I'll hire a fancy marketing company to bring me in leads. No, you, that's got to be, you've got to be that marketing company. Uh, I've got a bunch of really good reviews. I've always had amazing good reviews and they help a lot. Please, I mean, everyone that wants to give reviews, we appreciate that. You guys are amazing. And uh, we really appreciate them. And they're massively helpful for people that already know, like, and trust me and understand how I can help them. Those reviews are, are amazing. But until they know, like, and trust me and understand I can help them, they're no good. I'll just get my name out there. I tried that. That's the worst. Um, you know, I'll try this new bag, new whiz bang. This. this is one I probably did the most. You got like salespeople coming and just selling you this, selling you that. And, you know, sometimes it worked a little better, this or that, but they're not scalable. They're not repeatable. They're not dependable. So I've spent 20 years figuring out how not to do it. Um, and then kind of at the end, figured out how to do it. If you would like a system um, so you can stop wasting money on marketing that doesn't work and really have a system that's going to attract the right people, the right message. Um, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. We have a bunch of complimentary stuff that can really make your life better. Um, join our Facebook group. Hang out in the community. We have so much to offer. Hope to Hopefully we'll see you on the next broadcast. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, talk soon, Cleaning Nation. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.